All right, so I'm going to show you real quick how you can find your Xcode project, and then what I want to show you is how you can share it with someone. So I've got this app. It's called Brew Coffee. I use this to make coffee, so I can run this real quick. It's going to run on the biggest iPhone. Uh, this is a bug. It always selects the iPhone 6S Plus. Super annoying. I don't want to ever run it on that because it's so huge, but that's the app. Um, it's going to start up momentarily. And the, the thing is, when you want to share a project, you have to first make sure all your resources are in the, the right location. If they're not in the right location, then when you share it with someone else, they won't be able to open and run the app. And so this is incredibly useful when you're trying to get feedback from someone else like me or another developer, or you're just trying to share a project. So let's go in here. We're going to see the app super slow to start just because this is all the high res assets. So this is brew coffee. This is what I'm currently working on and it allows you to brew coffee. It goes through this whole process. Super fun. Um, I use it every single morning, all right? So that's the app, but I wanna show you how to share it. So you're gonna go to the top left and you're gonna click on the Project Navigator. We're gonna go to Brew Coffee. We're gonna right click on this. So I'm using the trackpad on my, my MacBook Pro right now. And I'm gonna go to Show in Finder. Once I find it in Finder, this shows me the actual project. Now I've hacked Finder so that I can see this. Uh, you're going to have to change the toolbar if you haven't done this before. So let's go ahead and change the toolbar. And this is the little path thing. I absolutely cannot live without this and Apple doesn't install it on default. So I would go in here, drag this up and put it right there. It's going to save you so much time. All right. Super, super, super important right there. All right. With this, you can easily jump up a, a directory. And so there's multiple directories for an Xcode project. So I'm in this bottom one right now, but I can go up one and we can see I've got a bunch of different apps in here and then I can go up again. So this is my actual, this is actually my dev folder, my GitHub accounts. All of these are GitHub projects. And if I drill back in, I have an Xcode, fo sorry, an Xcode folder. And within here, I've got some different things. So I've tested out animations and some of these test projects, but the one I wanna share is this Brew Coffee app. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up a directory. So if I go to the Xcode folder, this is the, the top level directory. You can see I don't have a whole lot of assets. It's only 4.2 megabytes. I'm gonna right click on this. And now I want to share it, so I have to compress it. You can't just email this Xcode folder because uh, I think Gmail's like antivirus is going to have a, a fit. So if I compress it, that now gives me something I can mail to someone else and they can open. Now, if you haven't imported images correctly, then you're going to have this issue. So you might have to delete images and re-import them. But if you're using the images in the asset catalog, you should be fine. You should be good to go. Uh, the only issue you can run into, and I don't even know if I have a picture um, to demonstrate with this. Let's see if I have a picture of row. Um, what is this? All right, so this is dinner the other night. If I wanted to import this into the project, uh, this is at the app, after the Apple TV Tech Talk in Toronto. If I wanna add this, whenever you add an image, it's really important if you're just dragging them into the project and not the asset catalog, that you copy it. So this little check mark is so important. If you don't do this, the file is not included. It's also important in order to use the asset, it needs to be part of the target. And so the target is gonna be the app. So in this case, I just have brew coffee and then I got some unit tests. I don't need it for the test, I just need it for brew coffee and we're good to go. So click finish, it will import. All right, so that's how to, to get an image here. Um, you can see myself here along with some Apple employees and then a lot of iOS developers from Toronto. All right, so that's it for um, just grabbing this. Uh, if I jump over, let's just close this project since I don't need it. I'm probably gonna have to commit those changes on GitHub, but that's another thing. Um, so on my desktop, now you can't see my icons in the background because I hid them, but I'm showing all of my desktop right now here. And I always have a projects folder on my desktop. And as you can see, it's got 97 megabytes of files. In here, I make Xcode projects for anything. And sometimes you can see I have a zip because I've shared this project in an email or on uh, one of my course sites or something like that. So you can see all of my test projects here. And I have a lot more projects than are just in this folder. I, I back up a lot of my um, course materials on Dropbox. So like for I don't know if this is the right, nope, that's not the right thing. So for, let's see, what is this? Still not it. Um, I use the keyboard shortcut, the command up and down arrows to quickly navigate. And if we jump in here, I'm gonna do command down arrow. You can see I have all of the code from the first series of lessons here. And the ones that I've actually shared, I've zipped up. I haven't shared all of them because I just haven't had time 
to edit everything. So that is how I sort of use Finder to find projects, to share them, uh, and how to add images the right way. Now, if you have images that you've added the wrong way, you're going to have to remove them and then re-add them. Just make sure you don't delete the original asset um, when you remove them. Just remove the reference and then re-add it. And you can run into a problem if the image is already in the directory. Uh, I guess I have to show this because this is super annoying. So if I were to try to add that image again, let's see if I can find it. Back to my desktop. And it was uh, not that one, this one. So let's say you have to remove an image you have two options i'll show them real quick because this is really important and i need to make a better video on this if i delete this it gives me two options i can remove the reference or i can move to trash moving to trash only works correctly if i this only works correctly if um what's the word if i don't want the resource anymore and I totally want to get rid of it. It's going to get rid of it from wherever it is. It might be in your project folder or it might be outside, depending on if you messed up hitting that checkbox that I showed you earlier. So if I do move to trash, that's going to be fine. But if I just remove reference, this file is still in the Xcode folder because I told it to copy there. So if we go to show in Finder, we should see here is the picture. This is the meetup picture. So what's going to happen, and this is a bug that I need to submit because Apple just doesn't get it you drag this over and we want to re-add and i do copy if needed we'll see if xcode 7 fixes this every other xcode version six and under has never worked for me so if i hit finish what's going to happen all right so great so i cannot copy it because there's already an image there and it won't overwrite it, it won't give me the option to overwrite it um, super annoying. If you're copying a bunch of resources and just one of them's in the folder, it stops you completely. I hate it. <laughs> um, so what I need to do in order to get this to work is I either need to delete this asset from the folder since it's no longer referenced, or I need to go over to Xcode and I could just click anywhere in the project navigator. Um, so we can click somewhere down here. Uh, we just need to get this window to appear. It's going to put it in this sort of subfolder if we click in, in this region. And you're going to do a add files to brew coffee. And this is the way to get it back if it's missing. And we can see that this one is, is not grayed out. So we can just double click it. And now we've added the image back. So that's how to sort of work with images. I need to make a better video using my nicer mic, but I want to get a real quick video out for John. So that's why I am filming and publishing this video.